Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Jesper Offersen and on this channel here we are talking about skincare and uh, we don't use a filter so uh, when you see me it is just as if you saw me on the high street. Now today my voice is maybe a little bit different than it normally is and that is simply because I have had some issues with uh, some um, throat infection and uh, hopefully it will go away within a couple of days. It seems to be getting better but uh, this is my voice for now. So today we are going to talk a little bit about a serum. We are going to talk about something from Nivea and uh, we have spoken about one of the other products before and that is in the same series and that is uh, this one here. It is a, a day cream and it has an SPF of 50 and it looks like this and what it is supposed to do is that it's supposed to help you with dark spots. So usually what we are calling sun damage basically or liver spots or sun damage and stuff like that all the sort of stuff that comes in old age so when you're in um, your youth are uh, worshiping in the sun and all that sort of thing then uh, in the autumn then um, there will come some sort of a uh, spots on your skin and we like to treat those uh, spots or oh, there's a lot of companies that are trying to make a product that will solve that issue so sort of bleach uh, that um, the melanin that is being formed so basically what happens is that um, there is more melanin being produced at various places because of this uh, sort of a uh, sun damage over the years so in order to sort of uh, fade that then uh, they are using something in this case here it says on the front it's called luminous 630 so that is a uh, an ingredient that they have uh, put in that they have I think they took 10 years in order to find out uh, what was working the best. And uh, that is uh, what they have uh, put in here and that is what they are calling it. But in reality it has some sort of other uh, chemical name. So when you look in the ingredients list it will not say uh, this uh, luminous uh, 630. Instead it will say something like isobutyl amido thiazolyl something like that and what that is is that it is simply something that is going to inhibit tyrosinase and tyrosinase that is something that uh, we have in our skin or in our body and that is uh, what is helping us produce uh, melanin so if you would like to stop melanin from being produced so stop the color from being produced in your skin then you will have something that is inhibiting the tyrosinase enzyme and that should in theory make your skin be more sort of um, lighter in the color than it normally is now we're not talking about if you have your natural color is a dark color then it will not sort of lighten that we are talking about sun damage so the sort of a color that will come when a uh, pigment is being um, sort of a uh, cloisters in the skin so you have these sort of a uh, dark spots uh, on your skin so it's not something that's gonna light your natural color and uh, if you ask me i don't think you should light your natural color we are talking about damages that are occurring uh, because of the sun so we are looking at uh, this one here today and that is the uh, the serum that they have made and it uh, looks like this so if you just make an unboxing then <coughs> we can see uh, it looks like this and uh, there is um, I think 30 milliliters in this one here and I would say that is a relatively expensive um, sometimes you can get it uh, on sale I think it is actually on sale on Nivea's uh, web page at the moment but um, this one here again luminous uh, 630 have I tried it well we have uh, spoken about this one here before and there is this uh, active ingredient in it that is the tyrosinase inhibitor and the same ingredient is in this product here so I don't have any sort of a obviously I have a little bit of sun damage I think everyone has that as they get a little bit older but I don't have anything that is sort of like very visible that I would like to to fade so I have tried this product here on someone else and that was my husband so he had to be a, a guinea pig so we tried it for a, a couple of times or actually we tried it uh, th three times all together or all in all and if you just have a, a little look uh, at it or a little sniff because there is perfume in this stuff here and actually uh, there is something called uh, benzyl uh, alcohol and that is uh, a preservative but it is also a perfume and it can be a little bit problematic but also they have an actual fragrance in the product and I would say it smells like it's the same fragrance in this one here as in uh, this one here and that would kind of like make sense but uh, when you are putting it on your hand I can just do that and have a little sniff it has a sort of a um, light smell so a little bit like apples but when you try this one here 
I would say um, it has, you can just see the consistency, there is some sort of a dimetic cone in it as well, so in order to give this sort of, um, supposed to give it a nicer um, consistency. But I would say, when I sniff that one, it's a whole lot worse. It's um, it's very much sort of a, an apple sort of a smell. And I would say it's it's rather strong. And I think in general, if you're using a serum, I really don't need a perfume in a serum or in a day cream for that matter as such. But uh, I would say when we tried this one here, it was sort of okay. And as I say, I think it is the same perfume that they have used. But the thing is that with this one here, we tried it uh, all over the face and then um, after a couple of days, something started to happen with the eyes because uh, it started to be uh, swollen and irritated. So we thought, hmm, well, let's just drop it for a little while and then see if it was something else that, that did it. Could uh, we have done something else at the same time? And that was actually the reason. But uh, then after a couple of weeks, tried it again and uh, tried it for a couple of days. Now the first couple of days nothing really happened, but then on the third and the fourth day, then um, it started to annoy the eye. And this time here we had only tried it on one side of the face, and uh, that was just where there was some sort of a sun damage that we would like to treat. And the thing is, when you just put it on there, and then you put a, a day cream on top, you would of course just smear it all over your face, because it would not just stay there. But the thing is that, I think the perfume in here is so strong that even that you just put a little bit on and then maybe you smear it a little bit around, it will just annoy the eyes still. And what happened was that one eye on the side where we put it on the cheek, that eye was annoyed and it started to swell and it was just like itchy. But on the other side, it was kind of like normal. And then um, after a little while, we, well, we stopped using it. And then um, after a little while, I just like, mm, well, if I have to say something to the viewers, um, would you mind try it again? So uh, he tried it again, and it was exactly the same thing that happened. The eye started to swell. So this does not mean that everyone would have uh, the same sort of reaction. I just think that it is something that if you have a perfume allergy, and he does not as such, as far as we know, have a general perfume allergy. But uh, in this case here, apparently I think it was the uh, the perfume that annoyed his eyes. So in this, uh, this case here, it was a problem. So what happened uh, with uh, the dark spots? Did anything kind of like change? Well, in this case here, we used it for maybe four or five days the first time, and then for a couple of days uh, the next time, and then after a while we tried it again for a couple of days so that is not enough in order to see if it would have an effect uh, on the uh, the sun damage so the um, the sun spot so I think that when you are reading online on Nivea's uh, web page they say that I think it's four weeks eight weeks and 12 weeks they have tested it and some people are very happy about it and other people say well they maybe saw a little bit of a difference and so on but I would say one of the, the biggest things to do in order to avoid sun damage getting worse that is of course to tackle it in the first place before it actually happens and that is of course uh, to use uh, a sunscreen and yes in this one here there is sunscreen but I mean, if you like to use uh, this product here as a sunscreen, you need rather a lot of it. So I would say rather go for an actual uh, sunscreen uh, and that uh, is uh, the best way to prevent uh, sun damage. So another thing, um, and that I've just read uh, an article the other day and I think that was very correct to, to say what it said and that was basically, I think what you can hope for when you're having a sun damage is that to avoid that it's getting a lot more bad so that it doesn't get uh, a stronger coloration but i think to remove it as such i think um, maybe that is a, a little bit optimistic with what is available at the moment i think you can fade it a little bit and when you use a, a sunscreen on top you can avoid that it's getting a lot worse but um i think at the moment i don't really think there is something that can really really help unless it is something that is really going very deep into the skin some, some sort of a treatment that you are getting at a salon or something like that and uh, that is obviously a little bit more of an invasive uh, treatment so uh, something like this i don't think you should hope for a whole lot but i think um it's better than nothing i would say that it might help in order to not make uh, the situation worse but um 
cure it as such i don't think that's going to happen but uh yes that was my little verdict on this product here it is definitely not something i'm going to buy again and be a little bit aware about uh, it is very perfumey so it it has a very strong smell and it might be that it will annoy your eyes so uh, yes this is not something i would buy again and uh, i am still uh, on the lookout for other things that could help with the uh, sun damage and that sort of a uh, thing in general stuff that are doing something good for the skin so yes if you'd like to see more of this sort of videos please subscribe hit the bell and do all the things you must do not to be notified when i upload more of this sort of videos thank you for watching see you bye